Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automate channel. Today we are going to see about six Selenium programs asked in many interviews. So please watch this quick video. This will be really useful for your upcoming Selenium Java interviews. So let's quickly start. So the first program is so we need to explain the order of test execution for this Selenium program. So the program was shared in the chat by the interviewer. Okay. So as you see here, there are different methods with different priorities given and there are few methods with no priority. So we have to explain the order of test execution here, meaning which method will be executed first. So as we all know, priority equal to zero will be executed first and many people have answered priority one will be executed next, which is wrong answer because there are two methods with no priority so selenium will consider these as default priority which is zero so what happens once this priority zero method which is b gets executed method block d and e gets executed next only then priority equal to one and two will be executed okay so let's quickly run this program and see the results okay so priority equal to zero which is method b got executed first which is correct and then what happened methods with no priority d and e gets executed next and then priority equal to 1 and 2 got executed which is method a and c okay so this is the order of execution for this selenium program so let's see the next question consider there are two tests in your selenium program okay one is login test and one is launch app test and this test login test is dependent on launch application test so the question asked by the interviewer is if launch app test is getting failed because of some reason will login test method gets executed or not so the answer is no this method does not get executed because this method is dependent on this launch application test okay so the other test in your uh, class file still gets executed okay so when i run this program the test login test should throw java lang throwable error because of this test is depending on this launch application test okay so this is how depends on methods annotation works okay so let's see the next question so why are we writing exception tests in selenium so consider you have hundreds of selenium tests in your automation test suit okay so we might expect some exception to happen for some of your tests okay during runtime so for those tests we can already define the exception using accepted exceptions annotation and we can provide what type of exception exception we are going to see for this test okay so we are already defining for the test that this test will throw assertion error during runtime and you have to still execute the remaining test suit okay so that is the whole purpose of using expected exceptions annotation we are already defining what exception will occur during runtime and we still want other tests in the test suit to be running successfully so if you see the results here even though an assertion error has occurred during test execution all the remaining tests got successfully executed along with this expect, expected exception test okay so because we are already expecting an assertion error so this test will also get passed during test execution okay so the next question is consider you have multiple groups in your selenium test okay so the interviewer wants only mobile specific test to be running so what changes you will make and what files you need to modify so consider this selenium program it has groups as smoke test it has regression test groups and it has mobile test groups as well okay so the changes we need to make is in the xml file 2 along with your test file so we have already added the group names here so in the xml file you have to define what test you are going to run or what group inside the group stack so the interviewer has asked only mobile related test right so i have provided mobile related test names inside the include tag okay so basically we need to make changes in our test class and our xml file for particular test to be running okay in this case it's mobile related test okay so let's see the next question so the next question is the interviewer shared two tests and he wants this first test which is test case one to be executed six times and test case two to be executed three times so how it is possible 
with the use of invocation count annotation which is provided by test ng library we can execute the same test multiple times let's quickly execute this program okay so here in the results you can see test case 1 got executed 6 time and test case 2 got executed 3 times okay so with the help of invocation count we can execute a same test multiple number of times okay so let's see the next question so without using priority is there any other way to define the order of test execution was the next question so we have used priority for defining the order of test execution right so without using priority there is one other way called as preserve order so in our xml file we have to define preserve order as true and provide the all the class details which we are going to run okay so here i have two classes one is this without using test uh, priority test and without using priority test one so with the help of preserve order i am running without using priority test class in the first place and next i am running the another test with the, without using priority test so let me run this program and you can see the results quickly okay so what happened this test one got executed first and test got executed next okay so this is how we can define priority without using priority annotation okay we can just go for preserve order okay so we have come to the end of the video i hope these questions will be really useful for your selenium java and automation testing interview preparation Please do subscribe my channel Ajay Automates for more training automation training related videos and keep supporting. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.